Good morning. It's a new day, and I've got my saw plate all ready to go. Well, it's almost ready to go. I've got one or two more things that we need to do to it. But for our intent right this second, it's ready to go because we need to use our saw because I'm going to add to this plate. What I'm going to add are a couple of safety locks. Um, it's not that the saw is going to jump out. I know the saw is not going to jump out at me. But when I'm trying to adjust it, I don't want to be pushing the plate in and out of the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of swivel locks that will fit underneath it and lock it down to the table. So what I've got already is, of course, you watched me cut the slot for the blade. You watched me drill the hole for, the, uh, for mounting. And then I did just as I told you. I cut my two half-inch slots. I uh, countersank them. So now I can adjust the, the saw and make it square to the table. So let's go ahead and install, install the slot easy for me to say today let's go ahead and install the saw and set it up we'll make a cup the couple cuts we need to do install the swivel locks and we'll be on our way so here's my saw i uh, changed the blade this morning i want to make sure i've got that blade in there nice and tight yeah there we go i definitely tightened it up the way where it needed to be Now, one thing you'll notice is since we put in the plexiglass, we're going to have the ability to make a little bit deeper cut because we don't have to make up for the whole width of the wood that we had in there before. And we can use shorter screws. However, the drawback is when you drop the blade all the way down, it's not going to drop all the way down below the surface of the table. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind if you're you're going to use it as a utility table with a tool installed you should go ahead and do the router because you can pull the router all the way down or you can pull the bits all the way out it's a lot easier than trying to pull a saw blade out okay I've got the three screws mounted in I haven't tightened them all the way down because of course I've got to square the blade to the table so this is the part that always gets me maneuvering the saw in there we go all the way in see that's what the clips are gonna keep from happening having to pop out when I'm trying to adjust my saw blade Well, there we go we got our saw mounted our blade square now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple half inch pieces and if the stock I grab is too wide I'm gonna uh, rip it down so it's a half inch thick and uh, those half inch pieces are going to act as spacers between the bottom of the plex and the bottom of the table and then on the bottom there I'll put my two little locks uh, and I'll probably position one up here and one down here. So, I'm going to bring my fence over. And I'm just grabbing a piece of uh, scrap stock from our earlier episode where we made the... the uh, braces for the table it's just left over from that and I know my tables plugged in let me plug my saw in make sure my tables turned off get my hearing protection on of course not going to forget my eye protection either And I'm just going to cut a little piece and then lift it out. Yep, must not be plugged in yet. Could have sworn I was. I am. Ah, my trigger stopped. Came off. Which could be a good thing. There we go. On a 
day like today where I'm suffering from allergies, I really should be wearing my respirator or at least a dust mask. But I'm not. And I'll hear about it later, believe me. Okay, got my crosscut slid out. I'm going to move my table a little bit over. I've got a monitor here so I can see what I'm doing and how it looks on the camera. And uh, Now, I'm just rough guessing this. I'm not going out of my way crazy for accuracy here because these are just little spacers. They're going to get little holes drilled in them anyway. Well, I'm impressed. I even impress myself sometimes. Uh, I was starting to do this all out of wood, and then I looked over and I noticed I had some scrap plexiglass laying about. So what I did is I cut myself a couple little plexiglass tabs, screwed them into the bottom of the wooden block, the spacer block, and now I'm going to glue that underneath the underneath the uh, the plate and close to the wood. I'm not going to put it right up against the wood because the glue is going to squish out some. I don't want to glue this down. Uh, and what I'm using once again is your standard handy dandy crafting hot glue gun uh, hot glue loves plexiglass so a little bit on the bottom of the wood the wood on the bottom of the glass and we'll just give that a second or two and it's gonna be hard as a rock and now I can move it up and down, plate's not coming out on me, make my adjustments, tighten it up. Life is good. I think this is just about cured under here. So I'll go ahead and drop the blade down. Undo all the locks. And start bringing it out. Okay, our locks are in place. I've got now I've got four locks. They're going to hold this plate this plate down to the wood very efficiently. I'm not going to have a lot of movement in my saw. Well, here we are. We finally reached the end of this project. It only took three episodes of actual work, one episode to just see the tools that we needed to start out the basic shop. Uh, we started out by building our saw table. It was a table saw for a little while. With the introduction of the router, we turn this thing into a multifunction table. We can quickly switch between table saw to router table to jigsaw table if we had mounted a jigsaw on a plate. Uh, all at the behest of Mark Winans down in Texas. So Mark, if you come up and visit, maybe this table is for you and you'll finally have your router table. Uh, now, if you want to learn the techniques for using all these tools, I found a real good source on the internet. It's www.thewoodworkingchannel.com. Uh, they've got a video section with lots of old TV shows. Uh, you see lots of episodes of the Router Workshop from Canada. Two guys, they use nothing but routers, and they build everything in the world. They show you all the great techniques. I've learned a lot. I think you will, too. Uh, of course, all the plans, all the material lists can be downloaded at www.weekendwarrior.20x.cc. Uh, once again, all these words should be appearing below me here. Um, and, oh, comments, questions, suggestions, send to UncleChris805 at Hotmail.com. That usually appears at the end of the episode, too, but I've decided to talk about it this time. Uh, I answer all mails, all suggestions, all requests. Just send them in. Um, that's about it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to start on some bicycle maintenance. We're going to build a bicycle repair stand. Uh, it's going to cost us about $25 or $30 total, and it'll get the bicycle up off the floor, let us work on it at any different angle. Uh, You'll see. It's pretty cool. So come back and see me. Until then, keep up the good fight. Be safe. Have fun.